Hello Internet, I'm Guy. This video is about finding the center of a cylinder and also finding a center to drill through the center line of a cylinder. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention that, like you, probably, I'm assuming, I'm an amateur home shop machinist. And as such, I don't know what I don't know. And one of the reasons I make videos like this is for the rest of you who may be a little behind me or a little ahead of me, there may be things that you don't know that you don't know, and that's why I'm making this video. But uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have comments that you'd like to share about where you're at in your skill level of home shop machining, let me know. Something short, don't, don't give me paragraphs because I don't have time to read lots of stuff, but I'd like to hear from you so I can then think about what I'm targeting my videos for. So I started out uh, many years ago with just a drill press. I'm looking over at my drill press over there. It's 40 years old. And then I had a, uh, an XY table that I could crank around and cut square holes out, partly because as an electrical engineer, I needed to make you know, little boxes like this with square cutouts for the display, a square cutout for the switch, square cutout for the outlet. Um, that was just the easiest way to do that. Then I bought a Harbor Freight mill, and then I bought a mini lathe, and I've upgraded them substantially. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, you know that I've done a lot of work on those machines, and they're really dialed in. So having all that equipment now, looking back, I wish I'd known what I know now about finding centers using uh, various tools. So this video will reach multiple levels of people. Some may not have a DRO, so you, you know it makes it harder to find the center. Some of you do, and I'll show you how I use that. So let's just jump right in. Before I had a mini mill and a mini lathe, I was making weird little shaft couplings like this, which you can see are grossly off center. And then, of course, even the uh, set screws were not particularly centered in some of these. But these served the purpose. But, boy, I wish I'd known what I know now. Um, there are some wonderful tools that will help you very simply find centers of cylinders. So let's get that out of the way. And let's look at, say, a sample of a cylinder here that is about an inch and a half diameter. This tool right here is amazing. Let me zoom back a little bit. This is a center finder that you just drop onto your object and then just whack it with a hammer or a convenient piece of metal. And there is your center. Can you see that? Yes, you can. So the way this works, obviously, is it slides in and out like that to set the uh, diameter anywhere from two and a quarter down to or just a little over a half, maybe three eighths. I don't remember exactly. Um, and it has a, a stop, a shaft flat here with a set screw so it can't go any further than the full travel that you need. There's a link below to this as there is with all of the tools I'm showing you today. Another option for larger cylinders is to use your trusty old tri-square. This is part of a uh, woodworking square system and you just sign, line it up like this and make multiple marks. So you'll do one like this and then you'll turn and go like this and a few more like that. This is actually dead on. As you can see there, they're all lining up perfectly as they should. Sometimes if you're not perfectly round here, then these marks will form a little center, a little, little gap in the middle between all these lines. Now, there is a smaller version of this that is specifically more for targeting machine tools. So I'll link to that below. I don't happen to have one right now. But this is a great way to find center on something larger. So now I've got this on some parallels in my vise, and I need to set this up now. This is the center finding feature of this tool. So set it to low RPM, like 500 RPM. Use something flat to get this set up true. Oh, it's a little tricky. There, okay. So now I can drive to center, and seeing that I don't need to run that anymore. I can just see it and just line it up just where I want to go. And front to back, a little bit like that. And I can drop that tip right in there and see that I've hit the exact spot. One of the simplest and least expensive tools and tricks for finding the center of a rod like this, where you want to drill right through the center, is to use a scale or anything flat and straight lower, say, a tap guide down onto it, just so you got a little bit of spring tension on it there, and then just drive the x-axis 
until this is parallel to the vise. Another way to find the center is to use this cute little centering tool, which I've grown to really enjoy using. You just lower it down onto your cylinder, drive your x-axis over until you get the two little marks here to line up, and let's see, I would say right about there. Thanks for watching so far. Uh, the rest of this video is dealing with finding centers using the digital readout, the DRO on my mini mill. So if you're already familiar with that, you can go ahead and skip. But if you found this video helpful and you haven't already subscribed, please do. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you will know when I release a video. I try and release videos every Friday. Um, and if you'd like to support me, there's a super thanks button or a like, and you can support me on Patreon. Now back to how to use a mill with a DRO to center things. If you have a digital readout, then a wiggler or a center finder like this will work just fine. Um, most of you probably have a DRO, but if you don't, this is how you use it. Drop it down like that so that this part is going to line up with the center line of the cylinder. Run the machine slowly, bump it out a little bit, and then start driving the y-axis over until it all lines up. Right there. Now if you go too far, then it jumps over, as you can probably see. So bring it back, and there you are. There's your center. So now what you do is zero out that axis right here on the DRO. Come back up, move over. And set up over there. Now I'm going to drive over until it hits. There we are. And then back it off again. And that is our center. Stop the mill. And now I can hit the half function and know how to drive over to center. So let's just look at that here. I'm going to drive it over. There, as you can see, it is spot on the center. Having found the center here, I have three different options. One, I can use a small milling cutter and mill a small flat there to make sure that whichever drill I use to start drilling through the center of this doesn't wander off the circumference here. So option A is to mill a little flat. Option B is to start right in with a centering drill. And option C, which I actually prefer, is to use a spotting drill with a 120 degree tip. So let me just take off a little bit right here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now that I've milled off a little flat here, I'm putting my spotting drill here and I'm going to drive back to center using my DRO. I can just go in there and drop that in to get a starting hole for the drill bit. Now you can see my drill bit with a 120 degree tip will drop right into the spotting drill hole that I made and center in beautifully.